guys, Jamie here, keeping it coy. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. Um, today, I'm going to be finishing off the uh, the pond walls, uh, chopping all the soil back, trying to straighten it all out. Um, and then I'm going to try and make a start on the uh, the filter house if I get chance. So uh, let's take you outside and show you what I've been up to. So here we are, guys. I'm down to my last two buckets to uh, to get out. But as you can see, the walls are now all pretty damn straight. If I get you right at the top there, uh, maybe a tiny bit more on that bit. Managed to chisel a bit more of that uh, concrete out so it's more straight. I've just got to repair the very corner edge uh, of that. So again, that's nice and straight. But as you can see, the walls are pretty darn straight now. So that is good so we're now at the final size of the pond so i'm just going to uh, repair these corners and these walls and uh, that will uh, allow me then to measure it so i can order the liner put the skimmer in temporarily make sure it all fits nice and snug which it does nala's barking at the squirrels nala what's the matter what are you saying? What are you barking at? What's that? What are you saying? You seen a squirrel? Where? Where's squirrel? Where's squirrel? There's no squirrel there. Yeah, my mess. As you can see, um, oh, there is something in there somewhere. I can hear it. Maybe I can't. Thought I had some. Oh well. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, little skimmer I had uh, put on this pond, uh, yeah, not yesterday, the day before, and unfortunately, I couldn't stop the leaks. I thought I did, but uh, I don't know if you can tell from there. But if I uh, just open this real quick, you'll be able to uh, to see. Unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell there, but I lost a good sort of four or five inches uh, of water overnight. Um, the uh, filter, it works a treat, um, like the job it's supposed to do. Uh, you can see there in the top, just in 24 hours, or just less than 24 hours, uh, how much muck it had uh, managed to take out. Um, and considering this little uh, upflow filter backy shower box um, keeps the water really really clear it just goes to show how much extra um, Vince's little sieve works so great bit of kit I'm not giving up on it but uh, yeah unfortunately we uh, it was uh, leaking out the back as well as the front because I'd positioned the front so all the water would run straight back off into the pond and I thought well if it does leak um, that won't be a problem but unfortunately we developed uh, leaks out of the back as well and it was running down here and um, sitting around the uh, little pressure filter and then dripping off here and I had a big old puddle you can see it's still quite wet down there uh, a big old puddle uh, down there so I've had to turn that off for now um, until I can solve it what are you doing in there? Silly muck. But yeah, while I'm down this end, as you can see there, I've been at all my uh, old scaffolding boards that my old pond was at. Because I am now way over budget, I don't have any more money left to buy any more stuff. Um, so the backy shower that I wanted, the new backy shower I wanted for the pond, we'll have to wait till either later on in the year or next season um, and I will reuse my old backy shower that's over there um, so as you can see I've been chopping up all these old sleepers made a nice mess on the lawn but as that degrades that should be good for the lawn anyway so I've got some big ones and then some more little ones so the plan is I'm going to make the filter house out of the old scaffolding boards uh, excuse the sun, but yeah, these uh, these big scaffolding boards here 
uh, are going to be the back wall. They're not going to be stood up like that. They're going to be going across ways like that. Uh, hopefully, uh, I will be able to get enough insulation to uh, to fully insulate it as well. I've still got all the offcuts left over from the pond. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, you. Um, and then this, these are going to be door number one. That's just standing on that bag. It is the, the same level. And then that's going to be door number two. Um, they're just two offcuts that I cut off of them sleepers. So that's the back. That there and that there is the front. And then I just need to cut now the sides uh, for the filter house as well. Trees blown over in the storm we had the other day. Pick that up in a minute. So yeah, so I've got plenty of scaffolding boards down there now to uh, to make some sides. Um, I've got the uh, framing timber still sat on my kitchen floor, ready to uh, to make a start. But because these have been sat there now for quite a while, they're a bit dirty and manky. So I'm going to give them all a a good wash with a pressure washer, let them dry out, and then give them a paint before I uh, put it together. And yes, it is going to be the same colour as my new fence. Well, not new fence, but painted fence. So I've uh, painted the bit. Obviously, you can see. If I can get out of the sun, I can't see a thing myself. But yeah, I painted the uh, the bit that I've cleaned. So uh, looks pretty good. Got my little bird house, my bird feeder. Get out of the sun again. I'm going to give that a paint as well and then as you can see once the uh, the pond's up and I can get then get rid of and clear all this rubbish because I'll be using them slabs uh, again shortly and then I can just clear all the rest of the rubbish use what I need to use all these bags of stones will be used because they're just what used to be around the pond and whatnot and then all these stones will continue being moved because this section of the garden well I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with it but you'll see in uh, a later video uh, what I'm going to do there uh, but yeah I'll be reusing some of the stones and whatnot um, so yeah I'm getting there getting there plus then I can re-clear all that side of the garden get back into my uh, little veg herb garden thing and clear all that up and the tomato plant those of you that have been following me for a while is still in there a bit dead now or very dead now move me bonsai tree over here because the squirrels have absolutely decimated the soil i've just bought some more um from bay tree the other day so i'll, uh, I'll put some uh, new soil in that oh we're being stared at by the uh by the ghosty Staring at us and the chag through the window. Hello! Nearly lunchtime. They've already been fed this morning, but they'll get a bit more shortly. So, yeah, I'll just get the last few bits of soil out of here, get the buckets out, get them bags out, re edge the corner. Then, what I'm going to do, sand along here, make it all nice and straight and level. Sand down there, make it all nice and straight and level because of all the stones and whatnot that's uh, in there it will also help protect uh, the underlay and liner uh, and uh, but today's job though is get all them pressure washed so they can dry out and then if I've still got some time I will uh, get some sand in there I've still got two bags of sand over there and then I've got some more bags of sand down there next to my uh, big blue bowl absolutely love this bowl picked it up second hand years ago and i got it at a real good price because there's a, a small crack here but again right at the rim so as long as i don't try and lift it up there while it's full of water we'll be absolutely fine and then there's another small crack on the rim somewhere here another small crack there look. so again as long as i'm well i've been careful with it the last few years and the cracks haven't haven't gotten any bigger so but it's an absolutely massive bowl um, so it, it's a good sort of hospital tank um, 
and whatnot for the fishes. I don't often use it, it's normally tucked behind my shed uh, down there, but it's all been cleaned out now, ready for the new season with some Vercon. Uh, Vercon's great stuff, good antibacterial uh, treatment. Um, for those of you that don't know a lot about Vercon, it is. Uh, let me spin you around. Yeah, it's. Uh, if you've ever been to a uh, fishing lake and they ask you to dip your nets before you start, normally what you're dipping your nets into is a real high dosage of concentration of uh, Vercon, and uh, that, that kills any nasty uh, bacteria that's uh, on your nets. So uh, yeah. It also helps in, in lesser quantities and doses in the pond to help get rid of all the nasties and whatnot. What do you keep barking at? But yeah, I'll leave it here for now and uh, I'll get cracking for the day. Catch you in a bit. So guys, as you can see now, all my uh, wood is all now nice and clean, ready for painting. Just got to let it dry out. I haven't actually cleaned those three yet because I don't think they're... Their moth cuts are going to be big enough for the sides, but uh, we'll find out. But I'll get them painted and put together first, and uh, then we will go down the back, get some more scaffolding boards. I'll use them too just to lean all these ones up to, uh, to clean. And uh, as you can see, I've made a nice right mess of the lawn, but the lawn was already a mess anyway, so... I will sort that out in the spring. This side's doing all right though, where I've put my uh, old pond net. It's uh, starting to grow back nicely. But I'm re-topping up the uh, tank. I've put my uh, tap safe in. So yeah, giving that a top up. Just thought I'd turn this back on and just show you where and how it's been coming up. It's still dribbling at the front there and the other leak uh, come around this side the floor's almost dried out now but uh, I've literally just turned it back on but you can see it's leaking now from the middle section which considering the amount of silicone in there I wouldn't have thought it would have been able to but, and that is what's causing it to puddle up um, there as you can see dipping away and that then is bringing the water around here under there and dripping I don't know if you can see the dripping there dripping down there uh, yeah bit of a leak but uh, what can you do so uh, I'll get that turned back off because we've already had enough of the water change. Pull the plug out. There we go. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Not that one. That one. There we go. Pop that back up. Alright. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I've had, I've had many a play and I just can't work it out. But uh, we'll see. I'm sure when Vince sees this video, he will uh, sort that out. Homemade dechlorinator. Not dandelion and burdock, but works a treat. And, uh, I think Jolly Koi. Um, has just done a, a video on how he makes his own. I've been making my own for donkey's years, but uh, the new pond will have a dechlorinator of some kind already in. I've just cleaned the uh, pressure filter on these guys as well. So as you can see, that's now dropped and they've just had their dinner. But I will uh, top that up next once the uh, blue vat over there is topped up so I'll let these all dry for a couple of days uh, as long as we don't have too much rain and then I'll be able to get them uh, painted but they look an awful lot better colour now than uh, they did 
when they uh, started because they were they all looked like that so uh, all nice and clean now ready for painting so I've just got to tidy up the floor in here just get rid of all the the loose stones and whatnot and then we can put the uh, the sand down so yeah again thanks for watching guys I just need to tidy up a bit now get the uh, pressure washer back in the cupboard I'll put my blue bowl back because everywhere is a mess well it's been a mess for months now um, I don't normally live like this for those of you that saw my very first uh, video other than the two uh, vats my garden was immaculate um, but, uh, I just find it a lot easier to not work in a mess but to uh, have um, bits handy ready for when as and when I uh, need them so uh, yeah we will uh, get that all sorted and uh, once the pond's finished I'll uh, sort the garden out next project um, yeah so leave it here guys uh, thanks again for watching like and subscribe um, and we will catch you all on the next one thanks for watching